Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and in this video I'm going to show you how you can get started with RPA that's robot uh, process automation and it's very much in demand and it's going to be future I guess. So I'm going to use a, a community tool that's a UI path community tool which is freely available for everybody. So to get this tool, you simply go to uipath.com, click on start trial. And when you click on start trial, it opens a new page basically and free trial or community. So scroll down. This is for a business, basically it's a paid one, okay? And this is free UiPath community edition. You just click on it here. On the next page, you have to enter your name email address and then click on download so they will send you basically a download link and from there you can download and install the UI path on your Windows computer this tool is very awesome it's freely available and this is how it looks like I'm going to save my current project and let me show you how you can how it launches okay so I have already installed it and I'm going to click on the launcher so this is going to take just a few seconds here and this is how it launches UI path robot process automation so every time you launch it it wants you to activate it but you just click on commit continue free so so you got the UI path community tool now you have to develop boards that can do static and later on you can build cognitive boards as well so there are two types of boards um, that will that can that can be developed using these tools so this is the third tool the the the, the most popular ones are automation anywhere the second one is blue prism and then this is why for the third one okay so when you launch it this is the options you get basically uh, you can open a blank empty project a simple simple process basically with the flowchart assistant and process okay so and the, these are the recent projects that i have worked on so i'm going to click on this one this is what i just created so let me show you how it works so this is going to open the internet explorer browser and going to pull up a website from world wide web and also going to do a query search and click on search button and then play the music basically it's going to be a video and i'm going to launch it's going to launch uh, pull up the YouTube website, okay? So this is a simple static bot and This is a flowchart a simple, okay? Just one Sequence, so I'm going to run it and you'll see how it works. And this is what we are going to create after this demonstration So it is launched Internet Explorer I'm going to type youtube.com and then it's type going to do a query search query clicking on search and then it's going to play this music as well so it clicked on that music so you see it started playing so as soon as you I accidentally closed it okay so let me just relaunch it and I'm going to create a blank project now and first you activate it and then going to name it so when you click on blank project you obviously want a blank project and then uh, name it so my UIT okay so same thing we're going to do here and this is the path uh, description is going to be whatever you want to but this comes with like blank project okay create and this is um, basically UI path interface so very simple one all the commands like shortcuts that you use on word like 
copy paste save select delete will work properly okay so that's the first thing next is you can minimize maximize these options here the, the menu buttons more like the microsoft word uh, the second thing is this tool is designed and developed in dotnet okay so that's good thing okay so there are three sections basically basically four sections the menu okay the second one is activity this may look different on here you might get these buttons on here so this is basically activity where you can select the components and drag in the uh, base uh, this flow chart activity here so these are the activities you can uh, this is your um, what do you call it um, section where you this is basically section where you drag the components activity components and make changes to it okay the third one is so any component you select in this area section the property will appear here on this work area basically you got few more options you can go and create variables arguments and import import you can also import import these things here okay and you can use this tool okay you can maximize minimize things here the flow chart you can see here okay and this is the property area just below that there's outline so any flow chart that you create here will be outlined here so just to, if you want to have a look and see if your flowchart is working fine. So, to create any board, static or cognitive, you need a flowchart. So, you can search flowchart directly from the search, or, okay, or you can, you can do in case if you want to search, here is the flowchart, you just have to drag it, or you will see here are things available so click on the workflow and then you'll find flowchart you just drag it in this section here the main section and you get the start chart basically now you will keep adding the components to this chart so we need a browser component so that is available in ui automation okay so here i'm going to click on this browser thing and i want to open the browser so you have to drag it over to here simply drag it this comes with few things here so this is how the property looks like okay so now you get now you have to double click on this chart to get in the chart and make some changes so i do not need this thing here then you want to enter the the url okay by default it's internet explorer selected you can choose the other ones but since it's community software it's not working properly in in a year or two i think things will be fine okay so i'm going to save it and go to the main you can see here the url going to main and i want to test it so let me go ahead and run it first this opened the internet explorer and you can see you got the youtube channel sorry youtube website up here the second thing you want to do very quickly i want to do some search so you be in here you want to do go to elements and then keyboard and then you want to type into you want to type into the input field okay so double click on it and let me go ahead and first indicate on screen so i'm going to select it and you want this input area so select it and this has been selected now you want to put the the query in quote so 
I'm going to search a song, the same song, Pehla Nasha Pehla Khuma. Okay, do not. Okay, so that's been done. I'm going to save it. Now I want to make sure it's working. So I'm going to save it again and run it. Did it do? It did not. Sometimes it doesn't. So uh, I'll run it again. Let me see if it did. No, it did not. So what I'm going to do here again, I will go to this one and I'll make some changes. I'll retype. This may work. Okay. This is what community tool looks like and this is how it works. That's fine, that's fine because you get to learn Pehla Nesha Pehla Kuma. Okay, and that's it. You want to make sure that you save it and then run it. It's going to launch again, and it did this time. So awesome! If that's if that happens with you make sure you type it again okay the third thing you want to click on the search okay so go to mouse and you want to single click you want to click just once drop it and then you double click on it get into it and then indicate on screen and you want this to be selected okay okay that has been so search button has been selected i'm going to save it I'm pretty sure it's going to work okay so go to main because it has selected the button okay I'm going to select and then you'll get the results now you want to play this video so the third thing you want to click on that video so I'm going to do image recognition here. Image recognition. So basically, a mouse event. Click image. Okay. So just drag it over here. It did not select it. I don't know why. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So um, I want to. This is going to recognize the image. So I'm double clicking on it and indicate image on screen as soon as you click on that i'm sorry i should have done something here uh basically i must launch the web page first so save it and launch it okay and go back in the meanwhile i'll quickly add did it work did it work did i interrupt you sir Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. So my bot was interrupted. I'm going to run it again. Okay, that has been done. Now I'll go back to this one. And all you have to do, click on here and then select the image. Oh my God, it did not work, sir. Okay. So I'm going to re-click on it. Uh, main. Sorry, guys. So basically, uh, I will re-launch it. So save it and reopen it. So all you have to do is going to search, and let me see if it did. It did not do the search. Okay. So this happens with community tool all you have to do here basically uh, when you double click on it upon the result i'm sorry go back go back go back and drag it again double click on it and you have to select the image you see the selector changes so you select the image and this will become your selected image and then save it and then run it this is how it works thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel goodbye for now take care people